Hey everybody, Meg here. Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. So this is the piece that I am showing you how to make over today. I usually take off those details at the top, but I kept them on this time. Now there was a piece at the end on the details that I had put some wood filler on, so that is just drying while I clean the entire dresser with crud cutter. Once the wood filler was dried around this area, I used a 220 grit sanding disc just to sand it down and to smooth smooth it so that it looked like the rest of the details. I had also sanded the rest of the piece and scuff sanded each side and the bottom so that the paint would adhere. I took off the hardware and I'm actually going to keep the original hardware but I'm not keeping the plates, the sort of plates that go under that drawer knob. I'm just going to keep the knobs. I used my utility like knife with the putty knife on the end to remove them as they had those tiny little nails in on either end and so I took that off and then I opened up each drawer and placed some green tape on the other side of the holes so that when I'm spraying the paint or primer and top coat that it won't go through the holes which is a really good tip because I have had paint actually go through those hardware holes and go inside the drawers. Once that was done, I sanded the top with 80 grit sanding disc and my orbital sander. So go smooth when you're sanding like this and then you end up with this. So I knew that I wanted the top to be a dark stain and so I covered it up with the painter's plastic and then sprayed primer onto all of the details and the entire dresser. Now this is the primer that I have been using um, and actually ran out and need to get some more, but this is the Kills Restoration Primer and it is amazing for stubborn bleed through. Now, I knew that this piece wasn't going to bleed through because I hadn't actually gone through to the raw wood in any areas, but I wanted primer just in case. This primer also provides a really smooth finish and it's really nice to sand as well. So I sprayed about two coats of the primer, sanded in between two in between each coat with 220 sanding pad and then uh, once that was all dry and settled I started to spray paint the paint. Now this is called Linen by House and Canvas and this was my first time using House and Canvas paint and I will say it I really liked it. It felt it felt when I was spraying it very durable and I found that after it was dried it was just a really durable paint and it sprayed really beautifully and smoothly and really nice to sand as well. I will definitely be using this paint brand again. So then I needed to paint spray the trim on the edges and on the drawer tops and so I just got a piece of cardboard and went over like put the cardboard against the trim and then just sprayed it just like that it actually really works and it's a great tip to get the ends So I did about two coats of the paint, which was plenty enough, and then I wanted to add a transfer on the sides, and I had this transfer called Postal Birds by Redesign with Prima, and it was perfect for this piece. It was so beautiful, it matched well, and I was really excited to get it on. So the transfers come on a white film on the back, and all you have to do is, you can use tape to place where you want your transfer, but I sort of already knew where I wanted it. And then you take off the plastic like that, and then you have a clear film. Place the clear film onto the surface, and then use the tool it came with to 
rub the transfer on like this. Keep rubbing and then as you're rubbing the transfer, peel away the clear plastic. If you find the transfer is still on the plastic, put it back into place and then rub over it again. It'll eventually come off. Once the transfer is on, you can seal it at the very end when you go to seal the entire piece. Then I got another transfer called Sunflower Farms, same company, redesigned with Prima, and placed them on the drawer sides. Again, it's the same process. You just place it where you'd like it and then use the tool it came with to rub the transfer on. They're very easy to use and they just add character and they look really beautiful. Now with transfers, you can also cut around the design to find the designs that you want on your surface. So on this transfer, there were lots of different flowers and designs that I actually just wanted this one that matched. And so I put the one that, that went with it underneath. So I had to cut it in, in half. And again, I just rubbed it on and peeled back that clear plastic. That way when the owner opens the drawers, they look like they match. After that was done and then they were all settling with the clear coat on, I ended up doing the top with glaze. Now, as you can see here, this is a wood veneer top and so the glaze was not settling on it how I wanted it to. It was sort of becoming very smooth and it wasn't as dark as I, I was picturing in my head. <laughs> so after I had done the whole top with the glaze, I let it dry and then I used Minwax Gel Stain, which was in Walnut. It was a walnut color. And I used the Country Chic Paint Sponge to apply it. As you can see here, this is what I'm doing, just so that I can get that top much darker than it was. I then added some paint details to the applique details on there, but I wasn't liking them. I kept going because I wanted to see what, what it would look like, but it just didn't end up how I pictured it. I just kept going back to the dresser and looking at it and it just wasn't sitting right with me but I did end up doing all the drawers with this detailed color just to see what it would look like but like I said I wasn't too happy with it so I went over it again with the linen color that it originally was and I was using my country chic paint angle brush to do that so once all that was dried, it was time to top coat. Now I didn't show here, um, I guess I forgot to record, but I did get a large st uh, stencil and it was a script stencil and it's called script. And I added a bit of the script writing to the sides of the dresser just to add a bit more of that writing to the transfer. Cause it did look a little bit bare on the one side. So right here I am top coating with Country Chic Paint Clear Coat. It's my favorite top coat, I absolutely love it. And it sort of settles in a matte finish but with a little bit of a sheen. I 
I then sprayed the top with the clear coat as well. Now I had sealed the sides of the dresser with the transfer but forgot to go over some of the drawer sides. So what you do here over the transfer is you just brush on the clear coat just to seal it and then let it dry. So I did that with all of the drawer sides. Once all that was done, I added the hardware and I, as I said before, I just kept the drawer knobs and not the plates. The hardware for this piece didn't need to be replaced because it was all there, none of it was broken and I think it really matched this dresser. So as you can see here, there are little patches of holes, dots. So what happened was, is when I opened up my door and I saw some light on the drawers, I noticed where the plates were, those tiny little nails on the sides actually left holes. And I could not see those when I was painting. It was only until I went to go and stage it that I could see the holes. So I used wood filler to fill them in. And then I brushed, once they were dry, I sanded and then brushed over with my angle brush and the house and canvas paint in linen so that it was matching again and you couldn't even see the holes. Now I did take off the hardware to redo those holes and then I put them back on again and this is what the whole piece looks like. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I really love those birds. I love the drawer sides. The sunflower transfer matched perfectly and just really looked good with this piece. It's probably one of my favorites and I just love the color and the flowers. And the owner that bought it really loves it too. So thank you again for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to support my channel, I have my Amazon wish list in my description along with buy me a coffee. And thanks again. And I will see you next Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Take care and have a wonderful day.